This is just going to be a simple video uh, explaining how to get around the workaround with Cheat Engine and Pokemon Infinite Fusion for people who cannot get the display to work correctly on Cheat Engine. Easiest thing to do is just go to your bag, go to your Pokeballs, give a Premier Ball, give a Ultra Ball to your first slot Pokemon. Once you're done with that, go over to Cheat Engine. You're going to find your Pokemon Infinite Fusion. I'm going to go to Geo Stuff. I scroll down, hit Player. Hit Party. Pick Slot. It's going to be zero. Zero is first slot Pokemon. You can see here mine's not displaying the Pokemon number. You're just going to click the bottom one. Make sure you can see, take ownership, stuff like that, and then you'll see all the list of numbers, letters. This is the part where people are having issues because it's not displaying the names correctly. If you simply scroll down, you'll see where you can see the Pokemon's ability, their nature, and then the item they're holding on the right hand side. So you can see that I gave my Garchomp a Premier Ball. He's holding a Premier Ball. If I double click this, it's going to bring me a drop down box. Well, I can change the value. This is all the hold items you can have. Instead of trying to look through and find it yourself and you can't type in at the top, just scroll down to the very bottom. You'll see all the TMs. You just scroll up past the second TMs. The first thing you're looking for is GS Ball, GS Ball, Eye Stone. Ancient Stone, and then you have Magic Boots. Let's click Magic Boots, hit OK. And then if I go into my Pokemon, item, take, Garchomp had Magic Boots instead of the Premier Ball. And with that, I can just go to my bag, my key items, Magic Boots. And that is the workaround to get the Magic Boots when you're not displaying the properties. See now, it shows that my Garchomp doesn't have an item anymore because I took the magic boots. I hope this video is helpful for people who are wanting to get magic boots. If you want to mess around in the debug mode, make whatever fusions you want. I hope this helps.